Uh, greetings, Dominicans. Today is my August my August no 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 October October seventeenth. October 17th stream of uh, day of <clears throat> okay. uh, nah, Kitchen Impact Ah uh, Oh it's a co-op I'm sorry about that. I don't want to wish to wait a late. <sighs> Happy birthday to Kamasato Ayako, Jinwu, Farina, aka Postalor, and Zinian. At the time. Oh wait, no, I think that's the one with the... <clears throat> now, I think this is the one with... Yeah, that, I think this one might be the user of the two. Well. Here comes another. I must leave no stone unturned. I was uh, trying to. Uh, I was gathering up material, uh, sending materials for Yaimiko. No one escapes by sight. Uh, I was uh, getting a uh, sentient material. Uh, sentient material for Yaimiko to level her up. And you can only get her equipment in. You can only get through the twin. Uh, I'll catch up. This sharp, this sharp boss in Inconomia. No escape. Let's round him up. Let's round him up. That was quick. Go. Judgment. 
Oh yeah, getting on hold in this motherfucker. You can't run. Go. What the fuck? Punishment. Uh, yeah, boy. Is that you, Rocky? Oh yeah, that's Rocky. Oh, good God. Hey. 
And yep. <clears throat> there we go. Now I need to stop wearing normal clothes. Self an achievement. Reach the definition within the time limit. Okay. Hold on. There we go. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. <clears throat> excuse me again. Oh my gotcha look. It's better. Out of the way or get blown away. Uh, I know my reverse nine, 1999 is. Yes, you are. Qualified after all. No escape. Time to clean up. Collect all Pyro particles. <laughs> mm. I'm gonna make you squeal like a little piggy.
Add Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurer's Guild. Thank you for completing today's commissions. Here is your reward. Why we have this event? Reminiscent Regi Regiment Thrill. <clears throat> this is a co op event. do so much on your own, but with a group, anything's possible. What they say is true. You have to see the world for yourself to appreciate how beautiful... Yeah. Bombs away! Yeah. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But it's needed. <coughs> I got it from uh shit. No, I accidentally started the quest. I accidentally started the quest. Parts of the quest here. Yesterday when I was trying to find a jewelry store. When I was trying to find a jeweler for... Uh, The quest with Rocky, our Sumerian friend. with me so that in it. I'm just I bet I'm just gonna get most of the crap. Like a dragon's three and dragons tales of dragon slayers me Guy, slingshot, throwing dragon trails, preparing his shadow, sky rider sword, throw another three trails of dragon tails, and the heart cool steel, fire shadow, sacrificial bow. Wow, I see six or uh, I see six candies. Fuck yeah. <sighs> uh. Works Oh Jesus. Huh. 
Fate. Dude, this is my only one chance. Twelve days. How the uh, fuck? Yeah. Mark's been shit. Absolute goddamn dog shit. I finally got a new fucking mouse. <clears throat> Paimon doesn't see anybody. Seems she's just not gonna show up, huh? We tried to be as considerate as we could, but she's under no obligation to help. That might be true, but this is still a request from the Pyro Archon, right? Shouldn't the subject always answer the call of their Archon? <laughs> a subject? Well, if you ask me, I'd say we're all more like friends with the Archon. Yes, Mawika is our leader, but then Mawika. there's any kind of tall barrier between us and her. The only thing is that she often has very high expectations of us. I can tell. So even though she's super powerful, it sounds like she's actually pretty down to earth and easy to get along with. Unlike that old hag Granny eats to Lee, right? Be right by you, Paimon! You all talk about her like she's some kind of huge deal, but she didn't even bother to reply to our letter! Seriously, if she didn't want to come, she could at least let us know. If that's what aging does to you, Paimon never wants to get old. <clears throat> oh, really? So, that's how you see me? Who, who's there? Who's talking next to Paimon? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just a disgruntled old hag, right? Uh, come on, relax. I'm sure my bark's worse than my bite. Huh? See Lolly. Huh? You're see Lolly? Your Granny Eatsley? Yes, Granny Eatsley. But emphasis on Eatsley, not Granny. Ah, oh, you must know this trope from light novels, surely. They use it all the time. The young man who's actually the oldest person in the room. The girl next door who turns out to be a seasoned veteran. The wise sage who looks like a little kid. Oh, wipe that look off your face! You've seriously never seen an <clears throat> older lady that doesn't look her age? <sighs> yeah, I think that's all it Nolly. Don't go thinking it's a trick either. See? I'm barely wearing any makeup. And I'm Nico. She's over 500 years old. She's called Granny, but uh, she's actually pretty young. And you are complaining about the Pyro Archon leaving things out? <laughs> It was an honest mistake. I guess we've just gotten used to it. Um, I'm on sorry. So, how old are you actually? What? How dare you? Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady her age? I, I really didn't mean to offend you. It's just that uh, your case seems really unique. Oh, I just wanted to apologize, but now she's putting more and more of her foot in her mouth. Really, Paimon just got a little mad since we thought, well, you were going to leave us out 
a try. Hmm. It was my idea to invite you here to see your. Oh house. shit! So I'm sorry I didn't see you, Fray Grace Fifty Seven. Uh, again, why do people keep? Again, I am not accepting any job commissions. I mean, what's wrong with the? Uh, what's wrong with the teachers I have? I don't have enough money to pay for to pay for banners and overlays. I don't even know how those things are even. Thing. Just let me enjoy. Right. Right. I was only joking. I didn't mean to chastise anyone. There's really no need to take all this so seriously. If anything, I'm gonna feel awkward if we keep this going. Hmm? I received Kanich's letter and was planning to attend this meeting. Since <clears throat> I had already decided to come, I figured there was no need to draft a reply that simply said, Understood. Besides, just hmm. showing up is the most important part. No? Thank you for the follow there. Still thank you for the follow, Grace. Right, Grace. It's also natural for people to get held up by one thing or another as they're trying to leave the house. <laughs> it certainly was a bit awkward to see that everyone else had arrived before me. At first, I was thinking of quietly sneaking over, but since you were already here waiting for me, I started to think about how I should phrase my apology, only to hear you all talking smack about me. Yeah, most, well, it's mostly Paimon. That's the whole story. Uh, <clears throat> honestly, it's not like I owed you an explanation anyway. Was she feeling embarrassed just now? <laughs> okay, hold on. <sighs> when the masters of the night winds say they struggle dealing with her, huh, I wonder if the feeling is mutual. Huh, she seems to be pretty awkward herself. Everything she does and says seems a little forced. <clears throat> anyway, Shilonen, I heard that you require my help in crafting an ancient name. Correct. The situation isn't like anything we've handled before. Let me explain. Huh, I see. So Mauika has asked you to forge an ancient name for an outlander. Well, that would be a first. And you've also heard all about Auroron. I must say, he's always been a good kid. I can't see him joining the Fatui of his own volition. He must have been coerced somehow. Well, no one wants we find him. Yeah, that's what we came here to <clears throat> We'll help bring Auroron back if you help us solve the problems of forging the ancient name. What do you think? Hmm. Uh, I suppose I'll just call you Traveler for now. Traveler, come here. Let me take a good look at you. Hmm. What the hell? Love leads to unending conflicts between people. Yet you alone transcend the value of gold. What the fuck? Thunder <clears throat> and wrathful waves bring terror to mortal hearts. Yet again and again, you've braved them to find new worlds. A weary yet free soul. Even the most verdant leaf in the forest will pray for your happiness and safe passage. Excuse me? What was that so supposed to mean? Those are all the things that I could see in you. You've experienced far more than even most mortals could dream of. You possess the heart of a sincere hero, along with the conviction to lift a torch above your head and walk headlong into the night. That's true. Don't move. There's something here. Huh? What thing? Don't scare Paimon. Is the Traveler gonna be okay? Ah, uh, shoo! Ah, oh, that should do it. 
You've just returned from the Night Kingdom, so some fragments of souls were still stuck to your body. No need to worry. I've just cleared out the last of them. <laughs> Isn't that kind of like having part of a ghost come back with you? Uh, it's nothing as serious as that. If left unattended, the most it could do is stir up some chaos in your mind. And generally worsen your mood. Oh, in that case, better to get rid of them. Thank it you. was nothing. <clears throat> Let's follow your proposal. Once you've brought Auroron back, I'll take you to see the Lord of the Night. The Lord of the Night? But don't we need to talk to the Wyab of the tribes? Something this important is beyond their jurisdiction. Only the Lord of the Night can decide whether we can grant an ancient name to one who does not hail from our lands. The Lord of the Night is an ancient entity that rules over the entire Night Kingdom, constantly borrowing the power of the Sacred Flame to combat corrosion from the Abyss. Oh, so you're basically saying it's even more powerful than the Wyab of the Tribes. Well, that sort of makes sense, being the Lord of the entire Night Kingdom and all. Uh, not exactly. It's not so much that one's more powerful than the other. Uh, but never mind. That's not important. It would take too much time to explain. Just listen carefully to what I'm about to tell you. The Lord of the Night is currently in a deep slumber, and we can only communicate with its consciousness while in a trance. In other words, in a dream. And crony vibes? We'll need to prepare a few more things if we are to hold a ceremony to achieve the state of the trance. I'll make a list. Can any of you get everything for me? <clears throat> It'll probably be a long list, <clears throat> so better leave it to someone who knows all the local vendors. Sounds good! Then we'll go with St. Lolly to track down Aurora! Phew, <sighs> the Fatui are nothing to scoff at, so please Fish. be careful like... in your investigation. If you need any help, I bought like yep, we'll be four or five of them. I mean, two of them, my bitch! And one. Now it's time for us to catch that brat and bring him back. <sighs> oh, uh, I'm sorry I made you wait earlier. It was actually because I decided to swing by Auroron's place to look for clues. <clears throat> he has always lived alone. And I found a broken jar in his house. There was also something off about his phlogiston aphids. Which I assume is because their keeper has been gone for quite some time. And interestingly enough, I saw some slash marks in the house that did not match any of our local weapons. My guess is they were left by Snezhnayan arms. Oh, sounds like the Fatui broke into his house and took him hostage. That's the camp for But you. why would they kidnap a kid who just spends his days living in the country and raising aphids? He's only in his 20s. What would they mm. want with him? <coughs> That's not to say that I believe he's totally innocent, of course. Since he's the only one who was kidnapped out of everyone in Natlan, he must have done something to attract their attention. <sighs> in any case, we'll get to the bottom of this once we manage to get him back here. I'm truly sorry to put you two through all this trouble with me. But... Uh, please help me get him back. <clears throat> All right, then let's start by heading to where Auroron was seen last.
Come on, hey, let's show me your little common chest. God, you can't run. is not the proper one. Oh. <clears throat> need to find some... I need Milani. She's able to go... She can cross... Uh, This is the spot. An eyewitness claimed to have seen Auroron speaking to some Fatui soldiers here. I don't know how much you're willing to believe me, but Auroron really is a good kid. Mm. There's no reason why he'd suddenly get involved with the Fatui. Mm -hmm. I'm convinced that what the witness okay. saw was actually the Fatui coercing him, or perhaps trying to extract information. Uh, no. I doubt anyone would believe me. Given there are no signs of a fight. Didn't Kenich say that she's a big name in that land? Feels kind of weird to see her so frustrated and helpless like this. Can you tell us a little more about him? Well, he was left at the side of the road as an infant. And the people of the tribe took him in. You could say that everyone had a hand in raising him. He learned a lot from us. And once he reached adulthood, he built 
built himself a house out in the countryside. He spends most of his days growing vegetables and raising aphids, living off of what he harvests from the garden. <sighs> He's always been such a good kid. He would even get his friends to deliver whole bags of fresh produce to my place. If that's all there is to him, he really doesn't sound like a bad person. Oh well, let's keep looking. <clears throat> he can answer all of our questions once we find him. He's been raising phlogiston aphids for a long time, and since they were disturbed, they secreted a special type of phlogiston. We can use that substance to track his movements. Let's follow the phlogiston trail. Huh? <clears throat> oh, right. I forgot your eyes don't naturally perceive such things. <coughs> uh, here, <clears throat> give me your hand. What the fuck? <clears throat> huh? Uh. How about now? What do you see? Uh, I can see a trail now. Whoa, Paimon can see it now too! That's right. I used a spell to temporarily transfer a portion of my senses to you. <clears throat> For a short while, you'll be able to see the phlogiston, too. Wow, you can even share your senses with us? First time Paimon... <coughs> it requires a very rare spell that most people aren't adept at. But don't worry, it's a cinch for me. Between the two of you, it seems the Traveler's senses are a bit stronger than Paimon's. When I held your hand just now, I could sense that you've got a great affinity for phlogiston. You're extraordinarily gifted. Anyway, we'll need to use our vision now to track down Auroron. Good luck, you two. Over here, this way! <laughs> See, Lolly might say a lot of deep and confusing stuff, but this spell of hers is really something. Uh, what? What does she mean by deep and confusing? As far as elderly shamans go, I'd say that I'm already pretty easy to talk to. Is there any other old hag who's as fluent in the language of the youth as me? Uh, but is my way of speaking still not trendy enough? I've already tried my best to match their speech patterns. But given the looks on their faces just now, or perhaps I'm still not fashionable enough? But that can't be, right? Ugh. Don't tell me they're still getting the impression that I'm super old-fashioned. Uh, huh? I think I just heard a voice, but was it with my ears? It was all in my mind. See Lolly's voice? Since Pyron has the same voice, looks like she understands what's going on. Let me think, it must be the side effects of that spell she cast. Uh, now that I think about it, it's a good thing <coughs> to some helpers this time. Some things are best done with the help of friends. Now she can hear her. So now we can hear the thoughts and this is a made of our and something could actually happen with Salali. Oh? They appear to be feeling quite confident. Looks like our work will go smoothly. You better just leave it to us. Let's go take a look. 
Yep. Yeah. Judging by Paimon's experience as a guide, it definitely looks like people set up camp here. Uh, wait. The phlogist in here is a bit odd. Let me see. Paimon sees a small shape here. Could it be some sort of symbol? This is a distress signal for the Masters of the Nightwind. Only someone from our tribe would recognize it. So Auroron was indeed being threatened. We've got to find him. Fast. Uh, leaving such a subtle mark implies that he was trying to be discreet. In other words, he was probably under the Fatui's watch. Uh, if they notice us, we can just charge in and fight them to the death. But... Uh, but... What if my darling grandson is also there? I can't have huh? him caught in the crossfire. Uh, no, I've got to be careful. Otherwise, he'd get hit as well. Uh, how annoying. <sighs> no. No, I've got to stay calm and keep my composure. Staying here too. Uh, wait a second. The phlogiston around here is jumbled up. I can also smell a mix of elements in the air. Pyro, electro, and some other elements as well. Can you hmm. us that you were super amazing? No wonder you can sense so many more things than us. Huh. <laughs> it's about time that little brat said something nice about me. There are signs of a struggle here. Judging from what's left on the scene, there must have been a fight. But after that, the factions seem <coughs> to have gone their separate ways. Both the phlogiston and the elemental traces in the air support that. Do not go around without a chance to fight back? Remember the little mark we found before? Paimon's thinking, what if Auroron wanted to leave another distress signal, but was caught by the Fatili? Jay looks worried. Indeed, just by the distress signal before, Oran's being held by Tui. Given the difference in numbers, probably will be able to overpower them. Given there are two signals leading from here, we should split up as well. I'll take this direction, and leave the other one to you. Let's meet up again later. Roron, what the heck were you doing? It's one thing to trouble me, but now I had to bring other people into this as well. Ah, oh, you little brat. And off she goes. Trap, we're all dead as well. Yep. Yeah. Once see Lolly left, that voice went away as well. Paimon even tried calling her name inside Paimon's head, but there was no response. So, the hub doesn't go both ways. So you were thinking the same thing! Paimon also thought that if we could hear what she was thinking, then she could probably also hear what we were thinking in our heads! She did say that she was quite adept at this spell, and it doesn't sound like she's had any trouble with it in the past. Huh, maybe we're a special case and can hear her thoughts as a side effect. <laughs> if you think about it, she's really got a lively inner world. It paints quite a different picture from Paimon's first impression of her.
No, I'm not. Things are for they for blowing the phlogiston meter. Traces of phlogiston here. Did but... you find something? <laughs> I found traces of phlogiston. Huh. So we can't tell where Aurora might have gone from here. That's weird. The foot just suddenly stops. We can't make anything of these footprints either. But he can't have just evaporated into thin air, right? We know he wasn't alone. He had all those fatui with him. That's right. Extremely strange. Also, so, you can hear the sounds of the wind from beneath the earth. The fuck? Whose voice is that just now? I'm tripping balls again! Oh, you gotta be shitting me. I'm in the Night Kingdom! Oh, you got to kick my ass! My kingdom, how did I get here? I'm very sorry, but please do not move. I have no desire to hurt you. Huh? I apologize that our first meeting has to take place like this. It's just that you're much like one of those animals with ears that perk up as soon as it senses danger in their environment. And given your combat proficiency, I would not have been able to gain an advantage over you if you were anywhere else in the world. However, you're now in the Night Kingdom, a familiar domain to the masters of the Night Wind. Hello, Traveler. I'm Auroron, the one you've been searching for. But what does this mean? Have you escaped the Fatui's custody? Ah, the Fatui's custody. I see. So even Granny has told you that I was coerced by the Fatui. <laughs> I'm afraid you've been brought here by a lie. Like a false omen in the lingering smoke. My friend and I only left those traces to lure you here. Deceiving you was never our true intent, however. It was simply the fastest and most feasible way for us to set up a meeting. It's the Greetings, traveler from afar. Be careful with this traveler. His soul is temporarily restrained by us and it appears to have become more fragile in the process. It's taking all my concentration to hold on to him. It was I who tasked Aurora on with leaving the traces to lead you here, and I who used the Master's ritual to bring your soul to the Night Kingdom. So you are working with it. So you are working together. I've heard much about you from the past encounters you've had with my colleagues. Given the present situation in Natlan, I would like to sincerely request a formal meeting with you. In person. I will use the opportunity to explain my goals and motivations to you. As well as why I mistrust Malwika, the Pyro Archon. I believe there is little reason for you to blindly follow her plan. 
If you would like to hear our intel, then find us to the east of the stadium. But remember, not a word of this to anyone. I would like to avoid any further conflict. You will see me again once you return to reality. No matter what I say, please, help me keep this a secret. This is all to avoid dragging Granny into this conflict. Fine. So was forced to be removed from the body just now. I wouldn't have explained why I couldn't hear Paimon at all. Hey, why are you sitting on the ground? Are you okay? See Lolly! He froze for a moment and then just collapsed to the ground! Could it have been those leftover remnants from the Night Kingdom? Do you have any itches or pain anywhere? I'm fine, just a little like head. We can take a short break. Sorry, I know I asked for your help. But had I known you were feeling unwell, I wouldn't have taken you on this trip with me. If they're being truthful with most responsible motivation, what they are, but I still should have trusted them. You could have everything fine when and it's solid right now. I mean, the getting up on the lead, it must be easy, but the two not. Two are the masters of the night wind, as well as I can write down for now. I can only see you find out anything else. If you're feeling sick, you should just say so. See, Lolly should be able to, uh, exercise any ghosts or weird stuff that you picked up in the Night Kingdom. A seasoned traveler must know the importance of not pushing yourself beyond your limit. If you need anything from me, just say the word. Thanks, everyone. I'm feeling fine now. <clears throat> In any case, let's take a bit more time to rest now. <sighs> Need to be more careful next time. Feeling better yet, Traveler? All right, let's get ready. I followed my phlogiston trail earlier to a stronghold guarded by soldiers. I have a feeling that Auroron is probably being held inside. Oh, so it's close by! Then let's head over right away! I'm so sorry, I didn't realize I was holding you up. Well, I recruited you to be my helper, which means we're in this together. Like the wind and the clouds, we either move as one or not at all. But if you want to make it up to me, then just be sure to fight extra hard when the time comes. was taken by the Fatui. So Oran does he look the same when I spoke to him in the Night Kingdom earlier? Alright, we'll take the lead! Hmm. Hey, quit daydreaming! Don't you have work to do? I cannot see the sun. Uh, what? Without the sun, I cannot see the truth. You are currently blocking the light, so I must beseech you to move aside. Huh? Okay, Mr. Philosopher. That's enough mumbo-jumbo. Wow. 
I'm going to rip that guy's head right off. See, Lolly's struggling to control her temper now. <sighs> Are you ready? Let's go kick their butts. On my count. Three, two, one! Fuck it! You're still trying to resist? You've got no idea who you're up against! Hey. Oh shit. their asses look over th huh? I'm a that's a roar all right we'll take the lead I'm sorry I have to see this again hey <laughs> I cannot <laughs> without the Sun I cannot huh <sighs> Wow see Lolly's struggling to <sighs> Her on my Okay, let's kick some ass! You've got no idea who you're up against. Hey. Hey. Oh, hello. Send this quick hey. And I'm gonna sit again. I'm getting hard hold, getting hard hold in this motherfucker. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay, no cup of okay, agent. Let's see if you can see the for the traveler. You can't run. This is yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Yeah. Go. The power of Fontaine, motherfucker. Power of Justin propels you, motherfucker! Oh! Oh! Beat off, bitch! Tell us a rate size said hi! Oh! Now this time, bitch! The power of justice compels you, motherfucker! Granny. Granny! I'm a no 
really she's called Granny Eats? But it's still hearing someone actually call her Granny. And greetings to you too, Gramps. Gramps! Bitch, what? Is that not right? You're Granny's friend, are you not? You seem to be approximately the same age as her, so I figured you've got to be Gramps. How many times have I told you? It doesn't work like that. There are a lot of people who look about the same age as me. You can't go around calling everyone Gramps or Granny. Wait, wait, wait. He's not a child, is he? Don't tell Paimon he's one of those people who look like an adult but are actually only eight or nine years old. Oh, your words have pierced my heart like a thorn vine. Given how hard those thorns are to remove, I may just need to find a pair of tweezers. Why are you so upset? You can just say yes or no. Of course I'm not a child. It's just, Granny always taught me to show gratitude where it's due. And since the Masters of the Night Wind raised me collectively, I basically see everyone above a certain age as an elder I should look up to. Exactly. Uh, but if you keep that up, then everyone's going to be your senior. And do you think saying all of this is going to save you from a scolding, Auroron? <sighs> Haven't I told you a hundred times since you were a kid? Heed the three warnings. Be wary of bees prowling around, scammers looking for their next victim, and strange people who appear out of nowhere. Oh, so you do remember, and you just chose to ignore them. I always knew that living on your own was going to get you into trouble sooner or later. But getting kidnapped? <laughs> that really takes the cake. You won't always be able to rely on other people coming to your rescue, you know. You're just lucky we got here when we did. Or we might be launching another search and rescue operation to find out where they put your severed head! I'm sorry, Granny. I'll be more careful next time. I can't tell if you be sarcastic or not. <laughs> oh, good one! You think there'll be a next time after this? Not a chance! Oh. <sighs> they didn't hurt you, did they? No. <clears throat> Asked me a lot of questions about Natlin's terrain and made me draw a map of the ley line distribution. Okay, now answer me honestly. Were you the one who helped the captain escape after his battle with the Pyro Archon? Yes. So why did you do it? Because. Because they said they would need my help from there on out. They also said that if I refused, they'd just come to you, Granny, and they'd already figured out a way to make you do their bidding. Hey! I'm no ordinary Granny! Would they really dare to come after me? And you! Did the gods give you a brain just for you to not use it? Did you really believe everything they said at face value? And not stop to think? Oh, thankfully, the Pyro Archon only asked that we find the mysterious individual from the Masters of the Nightwind and didn't slap your name on a wanted poster. Don't think for a second that she doesn't know what's happening. Even if the truth that you see will soon manifest into reality, there is still no need to preemptively panic. Have you forgotten the words that I've taught you? I'm sorry. Ugh, oh, forget it. We can submit the details of this camp and the defeated Fatui as evidence of your innocence. Let's clean this place up and get back to the city. Auroron, you better remember this lesson well and seriously reflect on your actions. Also, once we return to the city, come to the speaker's chamber with me. I'll need you to explain everything. Sounds good. <coughs> Should I bring some of my homegrown vegetables as well? You're... Vegetables? Yes. I grow a lot of fresh produce in my garden. I hope the Pyro Archon won't be too picky about the selection. Ah, uh, now's not the time to be thinking about that. If you do come face to face with the Pyro Archon, <clears throat> the first thing you should do is... Recite the three warnings. Huh? Uh, no! You should emphasize that you were not in cahoots with the Fatui! <clears throat> Did the masters raise this guy? 
Oh, mm -hmm. right. Oh. oh I, I I gotta stop swearing. <clears throat> Add Astra Ab So I am going the right way. <laughs> I see. So Auroron came to the captain's rescue because he promised to help him in exchange for Seat Lolly's safety. That's right. I'm sorry. Now that you know Auroron was only trying to protect another member of his tribe, could I ask you to petition the Pyro Archon for her forgiveness? We'll give her a full report. We'll let you know once she's reached a decision. Do I need to stay here? Technically, yes. But if Miss Seat Lolly is willing to serve as your guarantor, then we can release you from custody. Ah, uh, sure. I'd be happy to do that. I don't have any more time to waste here. I still have other things to do. Understood. Thank you very much. Mr. Auroron! Please report back to the Speaker's chamber as soon as you've received <coughs> the Archon's decision. I understand. Thank you. And thank you too, Granny. <sighs> well, at least you won't need to do anymore. Traveler, Paimon, thank you very much for your help. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten about my side of the deal. Once Auroron is settled, I'll go talk to Shilonen and get started on forging an ancient name for you. Oh, thank you! I'll be counting on you. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. It's as good as done. You can just go twiddle your thumbs or something while you wait for the good news. Bye I'm gonna check out! Come with me, Auroron. We've gotta find you a place to stay for the night. This is a, hey, this is a grandson of mine is way too polite. Hmm. Look on your face is probably trying to remind me about that, my promise. It doesn't strike me as a liar. I don't see everything myself. It was, it was a good character behind the Sarah's back. Really We're finally done. All right, it's time to find some grub. But mom, there's something I need to tell you. What is it, Traveler? Yep! Keep your voice down! Sorry. Paimon just didn't see that coming. So you really saw him in the Night Kingdom? And he didn't attack you? Oh, that Auroron. What is he up to? He sounded earnest enough just now. Paimon would have never guessed anything was happening. All that stuff about protecting Seat Lolly and being forced to help the Fatui. We've actually been a willing accomplice all along. I'm still not completely sure. Yeah, you're right. Still, Paimon appreciates you telling her about this. Paimon will support your choice no matter what, so if you want to go, we can go <clears> together. <throat> we still have another whole day before the meeting, so we'll just meet with them when the time comes. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the...
Oh. Oh, it's at max. the children of Echo. Let's go to the people of the springs. Already finished with the quests. Mm. This is definitely a lot troll. Big motherfucker. Games, I have no fucking luck. Not even withering waves. As a dutiful maid would, leave it all to me. Super! Uh, oh shit. Touching that shit. I ain't going down that route, man. Hey. 
して。えー。
Now I gotta read all that shit. I'm afraid those I'm afraid those constructs might come alive. God, are those cons- <clears throat> Rocky, stay away from that. Stretching if we t Oh no, that's bad. Time to e oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, go ahead and help me, buddy. God, these are typically a piss hound. Piss hound will rip hound ropes. Let it rip. I am really starting to piss myself right here. Oh shit.
Oh, how the fuck the... So many ripped hands. No stone unturned. Hey. As a dutiful maid would. Hey. Oh no! I hope the big one doesn't come by. Myself. Uh, uh oh, I think I gave myself. Uh, oh shit, I gave myself. You can't run. As a good man should. Sneaky bastard! You sneaky abyssal son of a bitch! I must leave no stone unturned. Judgment! Looks like we're gonna take this pound, this dog to the pound, the pound in hell. I'll catch up. Yeah.
Uh, I hope those fuckers don't come alive. Oh, why did I saw that coming? Eh, oh, why did I saw this one coming? You son of a bitch! Down. Now, the, now the deal. Girls are go. Yeah. Oh shit. No one. Hey, go go, Baron Bunny. Baron Bunny, go. Go! You 
move my little hot and cold! Did we do it? What the fuck? Ah, oh, shit! Oh, here we go again. We're in the fucking night kingdom again. Kitty? Please look better like the night. Is this an answer from this world? in stone and a treasure compass. Oh, so that's how they do it. Okay.
I guess uh, that'll be it for today, folks. Mm, sorry we didn't get... Oh, God, what's her name? Mm, what's her name? I... We didn't get... Oh, that's fucking cool. We didn't get a uh, what's your face? Oh, God damn, I get Zaloni. We got my fucking luck. Is that my fucking gotcha luck? Is absolute shit. Find Orion? I know it sounds like a lot like mo uh, Orion? Uh, oh. I'm sorry. I, I cannot pronounce foreign names as what well, as best as I could. Oh. 
Oh, there it is. There you go. Ryan, and is he working with? And he's working with Capitano. I have no idea. Whoa, 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 whoa! What the fuck? Solari? I don't... Again, and they're gonna be forging our name. Our, our, our ancient name. I think... I don't know what... I think we're gonna... Uh, I have no idea. Oh yeah, I think I'm gonna do uh, something on Zena Zone Zera. Bernice came out. And now I'm gonna have to rack up some more Aquain Fate just to get some more premium gems so I can get more so I can get a temple a pull for Salami? I can't pronounce the name, I'm sorry. And yeah, it's gonna be the same time as this uh, same time as Saturday at 1.30 p.m. to 2.30 p.m. No 3.30 p.m. sorry. And, uh, if you miss this live stream, it later, if you miss this live stream, subscribe to Dynamite Fate Games on YouTube. Watch this live stream in case you miss, in case you miss it on Twitch. Don't forget to follow, and don't forget to like, don't, don't forget to like Dynamite Fate Games on Twitch, X, and Discord. And don't forget to like Dynamite Fate, Dynamite Fate Games' official Facebook page, where official Facebook page. I am official Facebook page, along with the X page. I'll be announcing live streams. I'm announcing live streams, along with their date, along with their time, along with where time they start and end, and when I start streaming. Video links to my videos and maybe some screenshots. Anyway, this is Don McFaith of Don McFaith Games. Signing. <sighs> what the fuck? <sighs> Don't make faith of Don't make faith thieves. Something up. Peace out, Don Mackins. <laughs>